the Adams family. Now, now, Cleopatra. Chew your burgers. Don't gulp them. <laughs> oh, darling, now you see what happens when you gulp. <laughs> Quite enough lunch. Well, what do they look like? Oh, just ordinary moving men. One's tall, one's medium. No, darling. I mean the new neighbors. Oh, I haven't seen them yet. They have some interesting things, though. Really? There's an item you could do things with. Oh, I do hope they're imaginative. The real estate man said they were newlyweds. At least they're romantic. Really? How nice. I know just how they feel. The joy of moving into a new house. I'll never forget my first night in this lovely house. We thought it was haunted. Well, you can't have everything. I only hope they'll be half as happy. How could they be anything else with us right next door? <laughs> that horrible house next door. Do you suppose anybody lives in it? Honey, I didn't even know that house was there. As I remember it, the renting agent had the shutters closed on this side. Married by a justice of the peace and, and no honeymoon and, and now to spend my wedding night in this house. Well, it could have been worse. You might have had to spend it in that house. What was that? It was an explosion from, from that monstrosity. But I'll run over there and see what's happening. Well, I'll go with you. In sickness and in health. For better fools, we're stuck in this thing together. Uh -huh. There we are now. Down you go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There we are. Did you see them yet? No. Maybe they'll see us and come over. I still think we should just have gone over and introduced ourselves. Oh, darling, no, that's much too forward. This is better. Here they come. Hmm. Oh, how do you do? I'm Gomez Adams. This is my wife, Morticia. How do you do? Uh, Hubert Peterson. This is my wife, Amanda. We, we were just married. Oh, how exciting. You do that again. <laughs> Never mind the small talk. Find out what blew up. Oh, yes. Uh, we were just wondering about those little explosions. What explosions? Uh, those explosions. Oh, that must be Uncle Fester playing with his new dynamite caps. <laughs> what? He got them at the discount house. They're not up to par. You mean there's someone exploring dynamite inside your house? Where else would he do it? Well, uh, uh, I'll see you're washing your pup. <laughs> oh, good heavens, that isn't a pup. It's an octopus. Do you have an octopus for a pet? Oh, no. It's our son's pet. Here, shake his tentacle. Oh, take it away! Darling, try it first. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Now we are. He's really very friendly. Come on, Hubert, let's get out of here. Yes, well, uh, nice meeting you both. <laughs> nice meeting you. Seems like a nice chap. She's a bit odd. A little high strung. It's a wedding day, new house. And Aristotle, you were very, very bashful. <laughs> oh, time to dry. I had so hoped she'd be someone I could exchange recipes with. <laughs> Hubert, you never should have rented this house without letting me see it. Honey, remember the fantastic deal we got. Well, I guess I'll just have to pretend they're not there. That's my dear, brave girl. What? Those sounds under the house. 
Uh, termites? I knew it. The house is crumbling. It came from over there. from next door. Look out, Hubert. He's that dynamite nut. He'll blow us up. I just came over to say... How? Quick, nail it shut. Goodbye, Hubert. I'll call you. Where are you going? Out. But, but, but honey, this is our wedding day. Enjoy it. No, honey. Oh, Mr. Wentworth, thank goodness you're here. And here's your lease, all signed and sealed. For a year, this happy honeymoon cottage is all yours. Hubert, either get me another house or get yourself another wife. Now, calm down, honey, calm down. Perhaps Mr. Wentworth will cancel the lease. Oh, I'm only the rental agent. Well, where do I find the owner? Right next door. His name is Adam. <laughs> what the heck you with, Vester? I don't know. I just opened up the trap door and said howdy and wham. <laughs> Don't sound very friendly to me. You must have frightened them going through Pugsley's tunnel. Next time, Uncle Fester, knock. I did. Really? Gomez, we have ourselves some very peculiar neighbors. Peculiar? <laughs> They're a couple of nuts. There's only one thing to do. Get rid of them. I can't. I signed the lease this morning. I'll get rid of them. I'll go with you, Fester. Go ahead, Mama. I haven't used this beauty since the tax man was here. <laughs> Mister? Mama, control yourself. Yes, think of what you're doing. Yeah, they're right. We better not go over there in broad daylight. They're liable to ambush us. We'll wait till it's dark. <laughs> we'll do no such thing. They're our neighbors. Excuse me, my dears. Probably them coming over to apologize. We better go out in the backyard and practice anyway, just in case. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wentworth, how nice to see you again. And it's always such a sh 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 such a thrill to see you, Mrs. Adams. <laughs> My, that's a new dress you're wearing. How kind of you to notice. Glad well, you dropped in, Wentworth. Uh, those new tenants, have they signed the lease yet? They want to break it. Leave that lovely cottage with its view of this fine old mansion? Well, they're young, rattle-brained. They did seem a bit nervous. But it's their wedding day. I shook too, remember? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the lease is signed, and they'll just have to learn to live with you. Uh, it. <laughs> we'll try to make them as happy as possible. Ah, you're real people. Well, goodbye, Mr. Adams. Wentworth? Mrs. Adams. Those poor Petersons, what can we do for them? I think I know what their trouble is. They're lonely. You may be right. Oh, Gomez, we've been very selfish. After all, they're newlyweds. I should have been over there a long time ago. With a pot of henbane soup, <laughs> some of my dwarf's hair cobbler, and marital advice. Let's go over right now. No, darling, I have a better idea. Let's invite them over tonight for a game of bridge. You think they'll want to play bridge on their wedding night? Of course, it'll relax them. <laughs> You're right. Lurch, go over to the Petersons and invite them over for bridge tonight. And Lurch, use the front door, not Pugsley's tunnel. Yes, Mrs. Adam. I hope they're sharp players. Oh, so do I. We haven't had any real competition since the Thompsons were taken away. You think they'll come? Oh, I'm sure they will. Lurch is very persuasive. <coughs> you see, they've accepted. <laughs> well, I do hope everything goes well tonight. How can it fail, my dear? You're such a perfect hostess. Darling. And if the bridge gets dull, you can do your animal imitations. <laughs> do them now, Tish. Oh, darling. Please. Very well. <laughs> now the bullfrog, Tish. <laughs> <laughs> A 
bullfrog and drives me wild. <laughs> Let's not play cards tonight, Tish. I feel like honeymooning myself tonight. <laughs> Darling, you're so impetuous. Bridge first, bullfrog later. Isn't it a little late for Uncle Fester to be playing with his dynamite cat? It's not dynamite, that was a gunshot. Came from the playroom. <laughs> Better not miss, Fester. Morticia hates bullet holes in her wall. Don't worry. I'm even way down low at the pigeon's feet. What's going on down here? Well, if you insist on inviting those barbarians from next door over for bridge, I just want to be prepared. Fester's very handy with that gun. He shot a pigeon right through the eye. She wasn't even the one I was aiming at. Well, Professor, I'm sure we're not going to have any trouble with that nice young couple. Oh, no? Well, this little beauty mark wasn't caused by a mosquito bite, you know. <laughs> All this fuss over a bump on the head. I think it's rather attractive. That's true, Fester. I guess anything's an improvement. <laughs> Mama will serve the refreshment. I'll serve it to them right over their heads. <laughs> you? The soul of graciousness and charm. Oh, that's true. Couldn't I just spill some coffee in their laps? <laughs> Not a drop. Well, how about a little cream down their backs? Remember, you're an Adams. Oh, you're right, dear. <laughs> All this hostile talk. And those two poor dears are sitting over there just dying to be friendly. No, 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 I'm not going over there. <laughs> You've got to go. Do you expect me to be nice to those, those folks? Oh, please, honey. If we break the lease, he'll sue us, but... But if we butter them up, they may let us out of the lease. Now, come on. Must I? You must. Well, love, honor is one thing, but, but why do they have to say obey? <laughs> Well, they should be along any minute now. Oh, I do hope the new neighbors will like the house. Do you think they will? How can they help it? It is nice and dismal, isn't it? Don't be modest, my dear. It's absolutely bleak. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Oh, those roses want trimming. Uh. Have you seen my shears, dear? <laughs> oh, thank you, Thing. Thing. You need a manicure. Not that. And I did so want you to look nice for the new neighbors. Who knows? They might introduce you to a nice girl thing. <laughs> oh, come now. Don't you ever long for something to hold hands with? Woman hater. <laughs> Very well, Thing. Find your own friends. <laughs> My dear, I don't think there's time to start clipping roses now. Oh? Well, perhaps you're right. I know. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yes. You are so very clever. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Fester, what are you doing there? If those neighbors start getting rough, why, Genevieve will put them in their right place. <laughs> Uncle Fester, I will not stand for any bloodshed in my living room. Morticia's right, Uncle Fester. That's a brand new rug in there. <laughs> uh, however, never fear, my dear. Uncle Fester's aim is terrible. He's been practicing. I don't need practice. Even with my eyes shut, I always hit something. <laughs> well, you can relax, Morticia. And Adams never starts trouble. He just gets into it. <laughs> Please, I can't go in there. <laughs> oh. Honey, our future's at stake. Now, you've got to go along. Go along? And say nothing. Say nothing? Be pleasant. Pleasant? And smile. That's it. No matter what happens, smile. <laughs> Thoughtful, dear. Throwing rice. That's not rice, old man. 
It's lizard's teeth. <laughs> lizard's teeth? In the Amazon, no wedding ceremony is complete without the traditional shower of lizard's teeth. <laughs> lovely. Uh, lovely. On to the bridge table. <laughs> What a beautiful room. She agrees. How sweet of you to say so. <laughs> Is that monster? Uh, Amanda. What an unusual decoration. Do you like it? Oh, oh we, we love it. <laughs> Seems to uh, tell a story. You're the first one to really appreciate it. It's yours. Oh, no! We insist. Oh, I see you've noticed another little treasure. Isn't it cute, dear? Two heads. Cute. Well, you know what they always say. Two heads are better than one. Say no more. Take it. I wouldn't have that. Amanda. Thank you. You're welcome. I can see by your expression that you're fascinated by Pierre there. Well, we'll throw it in for good measure, too. But I, I don't... No buts. Well, of course not. After all. Pierre would only be lonely with the turtle gone. You're so kind. Kind. Generous. Generous. Smile. Smile. <laughs> Don't misunderstand, Mr. Adams. We, we like our house very much. And why do you want to move out? The rent too high? Oh, no, no. Be glad to lower it. What would you like to pay? Well, it, it's not that at, at all. Uh, it's just that it's too far away from the supermarkets. Oh, goodness, you don't need any supermarkets. I know a lot of little specialty shops. Do you folks like fricassee of toad? <laughs> Amanda. Love it. Good. I'll make you up a batch. <laughs> Well, what a wonderful idea. Five-handed bridge. Dear thing. Loves to kibitz. Thing. Say hello to the Petersons. Nice to meet you. Do you mind if I smoke? No. Go right ahead. And they're running out that way. We couldn't have been friendlier. Neither could sing. He has such a wonderful social instinct. Tries to make everyone feel right at home. Maybe it's because he was kibitzing. That makes some bridge players terribly nervous. Oh, I don't think so, dear. Besides, the card he threw was absolutely right. They certainly liked our home. Gomez, was it impolite of me to smoke? Querida mia, everyone smokes. <laughs> Gomez, do you think it's possible they could have been frightened by the shot? What shot? Uncle Fester's gun. Oh, that. <laughs> well, they were a bit jumpy. Darling, of course they were jumpy. It was their wedding day. How could we have been so blind? <laughs> That about right, my dear? Perfect, darling. It all goes to prove how foolish superstition can be. Here our young friends get married on Friday the 13th, and just look how beautifully everything turned out. <laughs> well, looking a little better, isn't it? Is the most gosh awful. Smile, Hubert. <laughs> it's beautiful. We knew when we saw you admiring our lovely fish that you were people of taste. Our kind of people. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. 
Hubert, do you love me? Of course I love you. Do you really love me? Well, I wouldn't have married you if I didn't love you. Then prove it. Get those people and their awful things out of my house. Honey, I can't. You've got to be nice to him to get out of the lease. I don't care about your silly lease. Either you get us out of this whole mess or I'm leaving. I, I think I've got an idea. Well, whatever it is, try it. I will. <laughs> Mr. Adams. Yes? I, I'd like to talk to you. Certainly, go right ahead. Well, before you go to any more trouble, I, I think I ought to tell you the real reason we can't stay in this house. Oh, what's that? Well, I, I got a wire from my company, and uh, I'm being transferred to Hong Kong. Say no more. I understand, and I'll take care of it. Would you? Oh, after all, Peterson, what are neighbors for? <laughs> oh, the dear Petersons. I do hope they're feeling better today. They're bound to after I tell them the good news. Oh, here they are. Ah, oh, come in, come in. Uh... <laughs> I have capital news for you, old man. You mean we're free to move? Au contraire, you're free to stay. What? <laughs> I bought your company and you don't have to go to Hong Kong. You can stay and be our neighbors forever. <laughs> Poor dears. I guess the excitement was just too much for them. God, you can't smoke. <laughs> Boy, very clever play. <laughs> Darling, the oddest thing happened. The Petersons left all those lovely things we gave them on our front lawn. Probably thought we were being too generous. Perhaps. Still, it's strange. We haven't seen them in three days. Darling, it's their honeymoon. Oh, yes, of course, I forgot. They must be starved. I think I'll take them over a nice casserole of yak. <laughs> Knock discreetly, then tiptoe away. What if they don't like yak? Not like yak? Darling, you make them sound weird. <laughs> no, no, no. The king. Mm hmm. What in the world brought that on? Probably resented your helping me. After what he did at our bridge game. <laughs> Thing, open up. Thing, I do not like petulant things. <laughs> now, was that nice? Very well, that's better. You're a play thing. <clears throat> oh. Beats me every time. <laughs> Forget it, darling. Forget the Petersons. Do the bullfrog for me, Tish. <laughs> please, please. Very well. <laughs> it's our turn now. They won't see us for three days. Oh, <laughs> 